Times have drastically changed since corporations' main advertisement strategy revolved around print, radio, and television. Today, the internet is increasingly playing a larger role in the global economy. 18% of global business is conducted on the internet. In the US, this number looks more like 30%. And seven out of every 10 Americans are actively online shoppers, making up a majority of the 870 billion in sales last year. However, this only makes up for 14% of all US shopping. These figures are fueled by advances in marketing technology, aka MarTech, which encompasses a range of software services and tools that assist in meeting marketing objectives and goals. MarTech relies on a broad range of solutions, including automation, computer learning, artificial intelligence, telecommunications, and other applied sciences. When us consumers are surfing the web, we're typically bombarded by advertisements, which are no longer chosen by corporations. These ads are chosen unknowingly by we the consumers, as businesses like Albertsons, Saples, Bosch, and Puma pay billions of dollars for consumer data. They're essentially delivering tailored ads to us 24 7 365 virtual ads sent via email text messages and push notifications these advancements in marketing thanks to the improvements made by martech are truly remarkable limitless and so effective so here's an example for all the overland enthusiasts out there let's say you're surfing the web to buy aftermarket auto parts to beef up your overland vehicle let's say some new shocks and mud tires you buy the shocks you buy the tires and then the next day and the day after you're receiving ads on your social media accounts for similar aftermarket parts or complimentary products to take your vehicle to the next level of performance. Marketing technology's mission is to create a long-standing relationship with consumers and their commerce experience. This includes content marketing, search engine optimization and marketing, social media marketing, affiliate and influencer marketing, email marketing, and so much more. In addition, marketing technology is important because it accounts for execution needs and requirements from start to finish. MarTech enables marketers to scale their marketing efforts holistically and effectively, improving the way we communicate and collaborate with not just our customers, but our counterparts as well, improving B2B and B2C relationships, which has a positive snowball effect on the relationships businesses build with their customers too. MarTech can be categorized in many ways, but we like to think about it in marketing technology needs, management, social optimization, campaign effectiveness, and insight generation. Let me explain. Management is a broad category for MarTech tools that includes content management, vendor organization, product management, budgeting, and talent management. Optimizing these aspects of your business needs is the catalyst for the rest of your marketing strategy. These solutions are all about helping cultivate business to business and business to consumer relationships and build new ones. And lastly, insight generation, procuring analytics from trusted sources, enabling marketers to effectively and efficiently understand their campaign, content marketing, and social media performance. This data-driven category helps helps make sense of all your hard work and available data. The explosion of MarTech has captivated Silicon Valley as venture capital firms have gotten in line to back up the sector's hottest startups. According to Paper Street, as of 2021, the most active VC firms in the MarTech sector were 500 startups with 80 investments, tech starters with 65 investments, and battery ventures clocking in with 63 investments. VCs have poured billions in MarTech startups this year. According to PitchBook, the top three VC deals in the sector for 2022 include a $325 million investment in iSpot.tv, led by Goldman Sachs Asset Management, a $316 million investment in OneFootball, led by Liberty City Venture, and a $300 million investment in Branch, led by New Enterprise Associates. Similar to nearly every sector this year, we saw a pullback in total deal count and value in the MarTech sector when compared to last year. VCs have been tighter with their capital as we experience rising interest rates, persistent inflation, and other macroeconomic headwinds, which have absolutely crippled the global economy. Regardless of the pullback, MarTech still makes up for a significant portion of VC portfolio holdings. And these numbers are only increasing as MarTech's relatively new technology is still evolving, allowing for this sector to also serve as a diverse holding for institutional investors. Today, I'm proud to inform you that Link2 members can join the likes of VC firms such as Lightspeed Venture Partners, Bain Capital Ventures, and Salesforce Ventures by diversifying their portfolios to include MarTech. Link2 portfolio company Bloomreach is a transformative API company devoted to helping its customers, which includes e-commerce companies, to create personal personalize, and scale their commerce experiences. Bloomreach's flagship product, BRX, is a digital experience platform built specifically for brands, retailers, and B2B companies to grow their revenues online while also providing their customers with a personalized commerce experience. Bloomreach has an expanding reach in the MarTech space, powering over 25% of all e-commerce experiences across the US and UK, supporting over 300 global enterprises. MarTech has proven itself to be a rising star for institutional investors. Its technology is progressing, driven by, in part by 
by advancements in software and artificial intelligence technologies. And with billions flowing into the sector each year, MarTech startups have shown no signs of slowing down. Marketing technology is essential for the future of modern marketing. So if you want to learn more about the evolving industry, or if you want to invest in Bloomreach, the leader in commerce experience, then visit our website, download our application, or reach out to anyone on our member investments team. They'll help you through every step of the process. That's all I have for you today. Have a great day and I'll see you on the platform.